Okay, part two. Uh, here's what we're working for. Hello, check, check. Uh, sending video frames from the OD, the OD. And there's RGB. And we're doing stuff with it. Sending that via OSC. Hello. Over to VCV rack. VCV rack. So let's take a look at how we're doing all this. I'll just pause that for a second and let's bring that down. Okay. Uh, okay, so part one, at the end, we uh, were able to run the examples. Um, <coughs> the OpenCV windows that were popped up uh, showed uh, we looked at depth in the RGB video. There's lots of other examples that you could have uh, looked into on your own as well. Um, that's all well and good, but let's send that to Touch Designer, and then we can actually use that in our normal workflow and do other really cool stuff with it, right? Uh, so to send those frames, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to use NDI. Uh, so this is something that um, people might have. Uh, used before. Super useful NDI tools. It's for networked video. Uh, we're going to be working on the, more of a, a lower level um, within within our Python, so we need the NDI SDK, a uh, software developer kit. Um, so let's look at some of the tools that we're going to need to do this. So there's an NDI Python package which is available on GitHub, and we can check that out here. This will show us the various things we need to do. Uh, so this PyPy, which I mentioned before, the uh, Python package index. Um, and so it's up there, which means it can very easily be installed uh, just from the uh, command line. So we're going to do that. Uh, let's, let's go ahead and do that, actually. Let's open up our PyCharm. Uh, and I am still in the project that we made from part one, so I already installed things like OpenCV and the uh, Depth AI, all those requirements. So my virtual environment already has those things, so I don't need to do that again. Uh, and so what I'll do is, actually, you know what? Let me stop that example. Hit Q, and that'll close that. Okay, and then that'll pop open my prompt again in terminal. Let's just maybe clear that so it makes it easy for us. And let's do this pip install. OK, so let's just paste that in and go. Uh, and so once you do that, I have already done this. So it says requirement already satisfied uh, for both these things. So NGI Python and also uh, NumPy is a sort of data science formats for putting um, huge matrices of numbers corresponding to pixels, essentially. Uh, I already have that installed. Uh, so we should be good to go once we do that. Um, on Also on the GitHub page, it'll give you instructions for how to install the NDI SDK. So you can see that on the page here if we go down. Uh, I've got some examples, so uh, you'll have to do this here. I've, I've already done this. This will install all of the examples and things. Uh, and we can see that. Let's have a look. If I go Python materials, and you should be able to see right here, NDI Python. So that will install um, all of this stuff. Example, uh, more Python files that we can look into. And the one we care about right now is this send capture.py. Uh, I think that's going to give us the basic functionality for what we need. Um, also on the GitHub, so just so here's here's a, a little heads up. Uh, I was getting some errors, and it turns out that it was uh, it was fine, even though I was getting the error. Uh, you go through this build with setup.py. Uh, I was getting errors related to CMake. Um, so this just to shout out again, like I said in part one. If anyone has any insight into that, um, why those errors popped up, uh, I, I 
kind of figured it out a little bit, but um, uh, I don't quite understand what the CMAC, uh, CMake uh, was doing, so feel free to educate me. Um, nonetheless, it doesn't really, it wasn't really needed, it seemed, because everything works. Uh, so let's go into our PyCharm terminal and try to run this sin capture py. And let's see, okay, where am I? So I am in my depth AI Python example. So let's get out of that. Let's do CD, boom, 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 boom. And from there, let's CD into NDI Python. And we should see example there. Good, CD into example. And so there's an example there, send capture.py. So let's do Python 3, send underscore capture py. Okay, so we are currently running that um, example, uh, which I've already loaded here. Uh, this is syncapture.py, so this is kind of showing us what's happening. Uh, let's let's just test this. Let's go, okay, VCV, I don't need you right now. So just go on down there. And let's just look at Touch Designer. And maybe what I'll do, let me just pop open into a new container just to keep this nice and clean. And let's look at NDIN. And when I do that, it should. Okay, so this should show up in our NDIN. I just noticed uh, in the code, uh, I had kind of changed this before. So this. The uh, send, the NDI send by default uh, had a little timer here. So it only sends the uh, stream. I think uh, by default, this said something like that. So it's only gonna send it for five minutes. Uh, but let me just change that to maybe 60 seconds. And then let's do this again. Let's see if I can. Let's see, okay. Let's type that again. Let's do Python 3, send capture py. Okay, it should be running, ndin, there we go. So now it shows up and it's called ndi python. And there it is. Uh, Cause my ndi python, the send capture file is just getting from my webcam. And uh, so that's what ndi is sending and we're receiving it in touch. So, um, this would be pointless, obviously, because I could just use, I could access the webcam by itself uh, from Touch Designer. But this is showing that our NDI script is working at least. Great. Uh, and if we go in, just for this basic example, if we go in right here, so this this is what's actually doing that work. This, uh, this is an open CV uh, line here, so video capture. Uh, and this, my uh, normal FaceTime webcam here is just um, device number one. Uh, so this by default would be zero, but you can, you can change that number to specify which device you want to capture and then send via NDI. Um, and that is pretty easy. Um, so that's for um, kind of just part 2A. For 2B, where it gets more interesting, um, we need to combine code from multiple examples and put that together. So for instance, coming into my touch designer file here, I'm sending the uh, depth um, image via NDI, and I'm also sending an RGB image here. It's me frozen, great. Um, so let's see what, uh, what scripts did we have to kind of combine here? Uh, so we're looking at a few different ones. Uh, so we're looking at send capture. Uh, we're looking at the, that should be stereo, uh, the stereo depth video uh, example that we looked at before. Uh, and then there's also an example uh, within the depth um, folder that shows how you can get RGB frames as well as the depth frames. And then there's, it kind of gets aligned in that. We don't really care about the alignment in that, but um, just kind of borrowing the code to, to get the RGB video also. Um, so the, what, what I did was I kind of used this stereo depth video .py, uh, cause it had the most meat to it. Um, use that as the kind of templates to keep 
and then kind of picking through this file and this file and adding to the other one um, to try to make it all work together. So what has uh, come out of that is this, uh, this file called depth RGB NDI. And so that's what I was running in the beginning here. So let's take a look. Uh, so from the various examples, so stereo depth video is here, send capture, RGB depth aligned. Uh, so for this, you can open all these up, have a look through everything. Uh, we won't go through too much um, all of this right now, but so this depth RGB NDI that I created is largely, most of the code is, is from this stereo depth video PY example. Um, so just to kind of give a quick tour, through this in the top here, we've got um, different arguments that you can set. So this is, uh, this is in the depth AI um, uh, documentation. You could kind of get more description uh, for what all these things do. Uh, this is setting the resolution as 640 by 400. Um, this is uh, something to do with mesh files. Um, these rectified streams. So I've, I changed these all to true i found that it uh, it creates a much nicer looking image um, with a more kind of fine detail and this is kind of talking about the minimum depth and uh, how the background occlusion is handled so play around with those to get a sense for what they they really do just all you need to do is change these to true or false and then and then run the file again uh, to see what they do uh, also here we can kind of play with this is kind of doing a little um, um, blurring um, that at, at a kind of uh, it's like a filtering at a certain level so experiment with all those um, and as we go down this is mostly the original depth code that mesh stuff so this get disparity frame is uh, an important thing um, the default one this line is uh, is running and this is actually taking the grayscale um, disparity frame and adding a color map to it, uh, which before I sent it to NDI, this was kind of messing things up. And also I'd rather send a black and white image to Touch Designer and then use a look up top and, and do the color mapping in Touch Designer. Uh, so this is all doing kind of creating the depth pipeline. Okay, great. So this stuff was uh, added from RGB depth align. So it was adding the uh, cam RGB code. Uh, and then again, just trying to work all this together. Uh, this right here is kind of wild. So this, um, to set, change the resolution of the RGB, we use, this is the depth AI um, uh, kind of methods that we're dealing with right here. Uh, there's something called set ISP scale. Um, so by default, it would send a 1920 by 1080 um, RGB image. And along with all the other processing that's happening, that, that made my frame rate go down a little bit. So um, I'm scaling it down on the X and on the Y to fit my depth resolution you can see that's 640 by 400 and so my, my depth um, by default is 640 by 400 great so this kind of weird um, oops I don't want to uh, multiplying that I'm doing here is rescaling my RGB frame in, in order to match the, the depth frame uh, that's all that's doing uh, so we, as we go down uh, so I'm initializing I, I've kind of did this the, the quick and dirty way I could have done it more more cleanly in, a, in maybe a for loop, um, but I've got a function here for initializing the RGB as well as the disparity frame uh, and then sending those. So in this case, I'm, I'm using disparity and depth um, interchangeably, even though those, those are not the same thing. Uh, and you can look up more online, like what is the difference between a depth frame and a disparity frame? Um, just for our purposes, the, the disparity visually looked uh, more like what I want it to look like, so I'm using that instead. Uh, and then there's a destroy NDI function, which gets called at the end. Um, so uh, basically, it's it's getting the name for the stream. If if it is disparity, let's say it calls that um, it calls that function, and it sends that frame. If the stream that it's uh, getting at the moment is RGB, it calls the RGB NDI function. Uh, and then those 
according to the name we gave it in the initialization right here, NDI Python RGB, NDI Python disp, it shows up. Let's go ahead and run this. Let's, let's run this one here. Um, and also for running in PyCharm, uh, I could see because I went into NDI, right? I could keep um, kind of doing doing all this right here in the in the terminal, running things like that. Um, but you might notice it just it gets tiresome if you like make a change. You want to test it, just kind of typing things out all the time. It's kind of a pain. Uh, so in PyCharm too, it has a nice uh, little ability. If we go up here, uh, I see current files. So we can edit configurations. And this little green arrow here, uh, we can run things. Um, so this will be current file. So if I hit this, it'll automatically run this file that is open. So that's kind of cool. So let's just do that. Let's try to run it. Okay, I hear a little click from, from that. Okay, great. So all that's going in. And I, I turned off VCV for now, just so it's not too annoying. And it's working beautifully. So let's click this NDI in, and you can see this one is called NDI Python Disp, according to what we named it in the initialization. This one is called NDI Python RGB. So um, you could create an arbitrary number of NDI streams from the, your, your Python file here, whatever is being generated by the OakD camera give it different names, initialize it differently, and send all those to Touch Designer. And it works beautifully. Um, and then for the VCV situation, um, this, you know, it's not, not anything too difficult. I'm just getting RGB and brightness and triggering some blurring effects and all that. Uh, and then uh, in VCV Rack, uh, using an OSC module by Troasoft, uh, and just making sound happen. So go play.